always remember to brush your highlights separately and your shadow separately because you are going you are trying to make this transition look even and look smooth you don't want it to be um obvious the point of retouching is to retouch so that you won't leave any trace so that uh, people won't even know what to do to the image that's how you um become a better retoucher hello guys welcome back to another amazing video my name is tony victor and in this video i'm going to explain how to use focus separation and also how to get the correct blur radius for your image when using focus separation so let's get started so the blur radius i used to retouch this image right here that gave me this amazing beautiful image that you are seeing right now i used a blur radius of 13 to retouch this image so let me quickly explain how to get the right focus separation blur radius so this is how the image was originally when i brought it to photoshop and um i duplicated my layer right here so that um before anything before you start retouching your image make sure you duplicate your layer and um this empty layer right here is the one i used to remove the blemishes on the skin so i just created a new layer and i picked my healing brush tool and um i make sure my sample is set to correct and below and i use it to remove the blemishes on this image but i'm going to be doing um a full video a full retouching video on how i retouch this image but today's video is all about how to know the right blur radius to use when doing focus separation and also how to brush when doing focus separation so this is after i remove the blemishes on my image so make sure you take your time to remove the blemishes on your image so this is the before and this is the after and after that i did my micro dodge and burn and this is my micro dodge and burn layer right here so this is before my micro dodge and burn and um this is after my micro dodge but you can see the image is looking smooth already after i'm doing my micro dodge and burn so this is the before and this is the after after my micro dodge and burn and um i'm going to be explaining how to get the right blur radius and how to brush a uh, headshot a beauty image like this and also how to brush um and something like this how to get the right blur radius for uh, an image like this and half image like this and also how to get the blur radius of a full portrait like this so back to this beauty headshot so this is the first thing i do before I do my focus separation i duplicate my layer I remove my blemishes and i do my micro dodge and burn so after that i'll just throw my figure separation action right now so i have this retouching academy so if you don't have this retouching academy send me a direct message on instagram and my instagram handle is tundi victor 7 and i'll be leaving it in the screen right now as you can see so send me a direct message to instagram and um we can talk from there and i'm, I'm giving out this um software for free I'm not charging anything so just hit me up and i'll send it to you so once i open my retouching academy i'll come to my i use focus equation via gaussian blur so i'll just click on it and the next thing it's going to show me is going to show me the blur radius which i want to use and most focus equation are like this you have to put blur radius before doing your focus equation everybody i know um that does focus separation they um use a blur radius like this i know encourage i know um amazing clef i know Prince Mason. so all of them i watch and almost all the tutorials i've watched this is how they do their focus separation and this is how they get their correct blur radius so i'm just going to explain this thing as simple as possible which is if you want your image to be smooth you don't want texture to be on your image you want your image to be all smooth make sure you are using a lower blur radius if you want your image to be smooth use a smaller blur radius but if you want to retain texture on your image if you want to keep most texture on your image use a higher blur radius on your image this 34 is too high so for a beauty headshot like this i'll be using 13 or 14 and also it depends on how sharp the image is because as you can see this image right here is sharp and this image was taken by a wally visual and um the image is looking good so i'll be using a blur radius of um 13 for this image right here which is what i used to touch this image before so i'm just going to do a little bit of example if i use a smaller blur radius like um let me just use two for example and i click on okay 
and I just pick my mixer brush tool come to your toolbar pick your mixer brush tool right here and um, for my mixer brush make sure your, your clean brush and make sure this place is checked and um, my weight I make sure your, your custom my weight is on 10 my load is on 30 my mix is on 20 my flow is on 30 and this place right here is on 10 and um, sample or layer is checked so if I want to brush right now if you are using this solution Academy make sure this your high frequency layer is turned off so I'm just gonna click on this eye icon right here and turn it off like this so pick your mixer brush tool and start brushing so once I start brush right now you are going to see this image is going to be too smooth so make sure you brush your highlight separately and uh, make sure you brush your shadows separately so I'm just going to be fast about this so you can see what happens to this image where if you are using a lower blurry just to touch headshot like this or a pretty shot like this okay now if I turn my high texture layer on you can see how smooth this image is and uh, if I just zoom in you can see there are no textures on this image so these are before and these are after you can see how smooth this image is and I'm going to touch this image using a blurry dust of 13 so you can see the before and after as well let me just turn it off okay let me just turn it off then okay. I'll create another frequency separation so I'll just come to my frequency separation via Gaussian blur again click on it and this time since I want to retain more textures on the image I'm just going to use a higher blurry dust of 13 to retain texture on the image and I'll click on okay and after that i'm going to turn off my half texture and i'll just turn it off and um, pick my mixer brush tool and the image is going to be looking blurry like this and i'm just going to paint on this image according to the shape of the model and if you are brushing make sure you are brushing according to the texture of the model you can see these textures right here are moving this way let me just quickly explain something these textures right here are moving this way they are moving this way like this so if i'm brushing i'm going to be brushing like this i'm going to be brushing like this to this direction and if i want to brush this side i'm going to be brushing to this direction and i'm just going to brush this side to this direction and i'm going to brush here like this to this direction like this and once i'm here i'm going to brush here down like this and for this um for the nose i'm just going to brush the nose down like this because the textures are moving down like this and for this place i'm just going to brush it like this why for you i'm just going to brush it like this like this for you i'm just going to take it back like this but this i'm moving this way why for you i'm just going to increase my brush size and just brush this side like this and brush this side like this as well why for you i'm just going to brush it down like this just um look why for this other side i'm just going to brush it like this like this like this and why for this edge i'm just going to take this edge down like this i'm going to take it here like this so just look for the textures the direction of the textures on the image and brush according to those textures on your image why for the jaw right here you can see the textures are moving this that to this direction let me just quickly show you they are moving to this direction like this the jaw are moving to this direction like this and like this and like this and like this so i'm just going to brush this side like this i'm just going to brush the jaw like this this side like this and i'm just going to brush this side like this as well because i move it down i'm going to brush this direction like this because i move it down so that's how i'm going to be brushing this image right here so i hope you get the point if you don't understand it just take it back and watch what i just explained again you are going to understand it and remember to increase and decrease your brush size according to the place you want to brush so i'll just come back to my mixer brush tool and just turn off my high texture, uh, high texture layer and start brushing like this brush according to the shape of the um textures on the skin always remember to brush your highlights separately and your shadow separately because you are going you are trying to make this transition look even and look smooth you don't want it to be um obvious the point of retouching is to retouch so that you won't leave any trace so that uh, people won't even know what to do to the image that's how you um become a better retoucher make sure you make sure you retouch your image and uh, people don't don't even know if, whether you've retouched the image or retouched the image at all i'm still i'm still learning i'm getting better by the day and um just constant practice and you're going to get there 
so i'm just going to um be fast about it so just take your time when you're when you're touching your image and don't overdo it so just brush according to the shape of the skin or according to the shape of the texture your model where the, where the texture are going just brush like that so that um the image will look good and look uh, the transition will be even and if you want to brush transition of the highlights and the shadows make sure you um increase your brush size a little bit and just brush in the transition so it gets that smooth transition between the highlights and the shadows okay i think we are done for this um image right here and i'm just going to show you so you can see the before and the after okay now you can see how good this image is so this is our before focus separation and this is after focus separation you can see before and after just the subtle difference but you can see how good this image is so this is why i use with radius 13 this is the before and this is the after why this is the one i use with radius 2 this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so you can see how smooth it is and um i prefer this one because i have a lot of texture on the skin and this is the one i upload and you can see the images was looking really really good and also if you have this portraiture plugin you can add portraiture to smoothen out the image a little bit so just click on your low um creative tones and click on your low frequency and just merge them together come to your filter come to your image unique and come to your portraiture and just and just click on this um skin like this and click on ok to apply the portraiture and it's going to add just, it's just going to add a little bit of smoothness to the skin which you are not going to see the difference so this is the before and this is the after just the subtle difference so you can see how good this image is and it still has a lot of texture it's like i did not retouch this image but if you look the overall before this is where we started from and this is where we are you can see the difference and you can see how good this image is so i hope you understand how to use focus separation blur reduce and how to brush if you want to retouch a beautiful headshot like this so for this one right here this type of image i'm going to be using a focus separation radius of about six or seven but for this particular image i use seven to touch this image but you can use six or seven if you go up um if you if you use a radius of about 12 you are not going to see any difference on the skin the skin is just going to look as it is so for this kind of image make sure you use a radius of about seven or six you can use five it's manageable but don't go below five for this kind of image if not your image will be too smooth and it's not going to be looking good but some people like their image to look smooth so it just depends on what you like but i advise your image should look as natural as possible because i've seen big photographers like encourage big photographers like Chris Mason, big photographers like amazing clef big h you can mention them their image are looking um image faculty their image are looking their image are looking as natural as possible and their image are looking so so good so that's for this um type of image like this and why for full body shot like this you can use the radius of about three you can use the radius of about four you can use the radius of about five you can use the radius of about six but don't go above six for this kind of image like this if not you're not going to see the effects for this image so in conclusion if you want your image to be smooth use a lower blur radius and your image is going to be smooth like this but if you want to retain more texture on your image use the higher blur radius when you're doing your focus separation so you're going to get a lot of textures or retain more textures on your skin why for um full body portrait like this if you want to get a lot of texture you can use the higher blur radius but if you want your image to be a little bit smooth and a little bit look natural use a lower blur radius of about three four or five why for images like this if you want the image to look as good as possible use a radius of about um five to you can use eight eight you can use eight you see about five to eight and um if you use um three for this kind of image your image will be looking too smooth if you use four it will be looking too smooth as well but you can use from five and above so but so it's just depending on what you want and just custom practice and you're going to get the kind of blurry series i remember there are no perfect radios so you just use any radios that works for your image so guys that's all for this um video and that's all i want to explain for this video i hope you like this video and i hope you learn a lot from this video if you do make sure to like this video so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative